There's always a story behind every part of the building, even here. The smell of the joysticks lingers in the air and is the only sign that a spiritual sanctuary stands hidden behind the high-rise buildings. The Yue Haijing Temple is the oldest Teochew temple in Singapore, a place for believers to attain a peace of mind in what is the heart of the central business district. Yue Haijing Miao is uh, established by the Teochew people. It started in 1826 when the Teochew they came from China via the boat to Singapore. So as you know, in the, the seas, the South China Sea is very rough and very unpredictable. So they pray to Machu. Machu is also originated from China, Mainzhou Tao. So they come here, uh, they landed safely. So they thank, also thank Machu for the safe journey. Initially, it's facing the sea. So what you see, the high-rise building is actually standing on reclaimed land. After that, they built uh, Permanence temple site uh, in uh, 1845 to between 1845 to 1850. The process of conserving the Yue Haiching Temple preserves a significant aspect of Singapore's history. Retaining the authenticity of the architectural design reveals the cultural influences that guided immigrants of the time. In order for people to understand what is the significance of the building now and then, you know, it's really to promote this idea of having a healthy respect for history, to try to understand what is it that the temple is like back then. Like all migrant society, you, know, you will build your place of worship in, after what you're familiar with. Right? So here we have the Teochew community, they'll build their temple, of course they'll build it in the likeness of what they're familiar with, the temple in Teochew. You see a lot of uh, ornamentation. And all these are very familiar stories. And all these are uh, stories taken from familiar classics, right? The, the Sun Guo, the Warring States, right? Uh, the Ersi the 24 filial piety stories. And the reason is they are trying to, uh, to promote the virtues and values which uh, the temple keeper, the temple owner want to promote within their devotees. I think I, ever since they have uh, renovated or conserved this place, um, I think aesthetically and also historically I've become more interested in its significance. The restoration of the Yue Haiching Temple was completed in 2014. Since then, more are visiting this place of worship while tourists gather to marvel at its rich history and architectural beauty, this temple holds a special place in the hearts of its devotees. When many people, their prayers have been answered, uh, it's words just spread around. There are many people who make the wish, the wish come true. Uh, they come and uh, return the uh, appreciation to God. La. I've seen a lot of Huan Yun. A lot of the wishes came true. Now a national monument, the Yue Haiching Temple is a pillar of pride for the nation and a pillar of strength for its devotees. Will it live on or fade away with the next generation? For the young generation to really understand the uh, history uh, is very important. So all the old buildings, we must preserve it. There's always a story behind all the uh, every parts of the building, even here. <laughs>